Welcome to episode 3 of Will It Blend and today is a massive game against Man United. We're at home in the league and it's the end of September. So we've played a few games since episode 2 and I'll just show you them. We are still unbeaten. We haven't quite blended <laughs> like I would have hoped but we've pulled results out of the bag in the majority of cases. We managed to beat Seneca in the Euro Cup playoff. 3-1, goals from Sandro, Defoe and Kapue. Then a pretty disappointing one all draw at home to Sunderland, Sandro with another goal. Then a, a disappointing 2-2 two, two draw away from home against Seneca, two goals from Defoe. Um, but we really should have been winning that. But we went 3-5 through, through an aggregate. We then beat West Ham 2-1 in the league, goals from Honda and Walker. And then we beat Fulham 1-0, Sigurdsson with a goal. Uh, we beat Tel Aviv 3-2 in the Euro Cup group game. Goals from Sigurdsson and Keirichi. Then a 1-0 draw against Villa. Goals from Sigurdsson again. He's been playing very well. And a 3-2 victory against Birmingham in the Capital One Cup. That was a... Well, we were 3-0 up and then conceded twice, which was disappointing. Two goals from Chadley and a goal from Holtby. So as you see, I, I don't think I mentioned that I signed Honda in the last video. Maybe I did, I can't really remember, but these are the transfers I made. Three bargains. I managed to get Baines for five million. I'm pretty sure it was a glitch. So I don't know what's happened there. But that's definitely a problem. No way should you be able to get him for that much. Honda for one point three million because his contract was running out in six months, but still that's incredibly cheap. And the Arme three point five million. Three good signings. I do like Honda. And he has scored. And very creative player. Baines, of course. You know what you're going to get with him. He's just so brilliant. World class. Best left back on the game, in my opinion. At the start, anyway. I think uh, Alaba does overtake him after a while. Anyway, let's get on with this game against Man United. Actually, I'll quickly show you where we are in the league. We're unbeaten. Down in sixth place, though, because we've drawn three games, which is... Bit disappointing, but luckily teams don't seem to be running away with it. If we win today, we get up to 12 points. For, obviously, it's going to be tough against Man United, isn't it? Um, a draw would probably be a good result. But, you know, the new Moyes era could go wrong for them. Soldado really has been poor. He hasn't done anything. Defoe scored three goals. Soldado has absolutely no goals whatsoever. Has done nothing. I just don't think this formation really suits my strikers scoring. I'm relying on the wingers to get goals, usually. And I've decided to play Lamella on the left today. Because against Birmingham, when I played wingers, they they both scored and it was crossed in and it, it was stuck in by the other winger. It worked well. So, not going for inside forwards in this game. They're playing Nani. Tom Cleverley. Danny Welbeck up front. No Rooney. Has he left? I don't know. Anyway. This is a... We can win this. Switch off. Oh, come on. You can't switch off against Man United. Um, I'm going to go attacking. But we're going to go more direct, I think, in this game. Um... Float crosses. No, actually, we don't really have any tall strikers. Drill crosses. We'll look for the overlap. Exploit the flanks. We're just going for this. We might as well. We're at home. I've decided to push defensive midfielder back to just because sometimes there's a bit of a gap between the centre backs and the central midfield, so I think that's probably a good idea. Here we are, underway. Ah, oh, it's been good. I've been enjoying this game so far. And usually when you get a football manager though you get addicted straight away. I do go through phases though, but generally at the start, you know, you're gonna be a quite addicted. Kabul has picked up a knock. That's not good because Vitongan's out for a couple of weeks. I'll keep Kabul on till half time for now. And nothing's happened in this half. It's always the way when I do a video. Get a boring game, don't we? 
Especially whenever I play Man United. Oh, Vidic scores. Damn. 1-0 down at half time. Not good. Will this be our first defeat of the season? We're not blending. Will it blend? No. Hmm. You've been unlucky so far, possibly. Sigurdsson not actually done anything, has he? What is wrong with Soldado? Kapoor is going to have to come on for Kabul. What do I do? What do I do? I might go to my... I might play... Yeah, I'm going to play more central, actually. See if this works. Sigurdsson as a shadow striker. Lamella can just actually. What's he good at? Hmm. In, is that Ingench? Ingenche? Ingenche? Strange word. Dembele's on a yellow. Could bring Paulinho on. He's not really done much though. Could bring Honda on. Ericsson's been poor. I'm going to take him off. More direct. And we're going to exploit the middle. Still look for the overlap of the fullbacks. Push higher up, high tempo, much higher tempo. Okay, let's see if this works. It's really hard to get used to the, the new tactics though. I mean, I, I really like it, but it will take a bit of getting used to and seeing what works, what doesn't work, what combinations work well together depending on what formation you're playing and what players you're playing and who you're playing, what formation you're playing up against. So it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Nani, oh dear, 2 now. This is going to be a loss. Ryan Giggs, oh brilliant. On his Zimmer frame. Our defence has been poor to be honest. We cannot keep clean sheets. Nothing is working defensively. I don't know how. I don't know how to go about it. Uh, gonna have to push up and go for it now. See what happens. Um. Uh, come on, guys. Why are you so poor? Uh, okay. Perhaps I shouldn't have gone attacking against Man United. It's pretty much done the opposite. We've had absolutely no chances whatsoever. Sigurdsson's looking uninterested. Ridiculous. Good. Offside. Can't lose three now at home. Well, there's always going to be an episode where... We're poor. This is going to be three now. Ah, oh, good save. Uh, Loris has been brilliant this season. Kept us in games. Won us points. This has been absolutely dreadful. I, we haven't had a single chance, have we? Sigurdsson's been really poor today. Carl Walker's been our best player. No, not 3 now. Please, not 3 now. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the end of the match. We lost 2 now. Something to think about, eh? It just didn't work at all. Carl Walker was man of the match for some reason. Far from pleased. Oh, switch off bastards. I just... I just don't get it. Playing Man United, we had two shots. No shots on target. Absolutely ridiculous performance. Down to seventh place. Five points off the top. 
First defeat of the season, though. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is poor. Really poor performance. That's the worst thing. If we'd actually gone for it, then I wouldn't have minded so much. But we did nothing, considering I went attacking as well. It was an appalling result. Oh, what's happened? It was particularly disappointing. No. There we go. Uh, I have to read some of these questions now because some of them are a bit new. And it appears on your homepage, so you, you have to answer them really. You can send your assistant still. But oh, there's too many questions. Go away. Apparently, we're listed one as the most proficient tackling outfits. Oh, just shut up. Okay, there we go. Soldado's finding it tough. Oh. Should I criticise him? Will that just make him worse? Probably. Oh, I don't know what to do with Soldado. He's just done nothing. But to be fair, he didn't really have any chances in that game. So. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Who have we got next? Frankfurt, Liverpool, Norwich, Sparta, Prague. Probably show one of these European games at some point for the next episode. But until next time, I hope you enjoy FM14 if you have it. And if you don't, enjoy my videos. Give it a like, give me some encouragement. And I shall see you in episode 4.